You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be doing a recap of Raw from November 27th. Yeah, the uh, the mid-card show, as we'll call it this week's episode. Well, yeah, because the, the world title is non-existent on Raw. Well, not even that. It just felt like, I guess, the Intercontinental title was the world title here. What well, always is. Oh, fair enough. That's a fair, valid point. Yeah. I am not even going to try to argue that. The problem is that usually the A storyline is taken place, or the Intercontinental, the current Intercontinental champion is the one who usually takes place of the major storyline. True. So you're kind of taking two... Two places where the storylines come from mm-hmm. and combining them. And removing the intercontinental, the former Intercontinental Champion, who was always yeah. seen on Raw mm-hmm. multiple times throughout the night. Yes, so that, that that's what kind of mm-hmm. makes it a little difficult. And the last two pay-per-views were team matches, the main events. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, yeah, it's a little... Uh, a little different? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it, they're trying. They are. Yeah. We saw progress this week with uh, some things um are you referring to the multi-man match that there's going to be another one of those next week too um no oh, okay no that was not good progress Why good not? for us bad for the I bad was... reception oh well yes. that's different that's 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 what i mean that's by different it. we will get to that later on <laughs> yeah. obviously anyway uh the show opens with uh a Kane and braun Strowman package oh that's not good um what unplugged Oh. Yeah. We're dying. Oh, the computer. We're dying. Got it. All right. Yeah. Back at go. it. Anyway. So, I was wondering so, why I was getting so dim. Yeah, so they basically recap everything that's been going on between uh, Kane and Strowman. That's, that's what we get. And, and then the show opens with Roman coming out, which was weird because usually they transition into whatever they're Something talking about. Something similar, yeah. And then... Because the funny part is that Kane and Strowman aren't even talked about until about halfway through the show. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 whatever. I guess they didn't have anything for Roman because last week I think they did. Well, so. No. Yeah, last week they won the, the title last week. Yeah, so why wouldn't they just recap that? Because they were in Knoxville, Tennessee. Mayor Kane. Oh, is that where he's... Okay, I didn't realize that. I believe it's Knoxville anyway. Okay, that that would make a lot yes. more sense. Yes, 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 Um. Anyway, Roman comes out, plays Burn a clip. It. Burn it, yes. sorry. <laughs> plays a clip of what he did to Miz last week. After the show went yeah, off Yeah, after the show went off air. Him and uh, Dean and Seth powerbombed him through the Miz announce table. Miz gets triple teamed. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, Ro- uh, Roman says that he's not going to be around for a while. Mm. And then... The Miz's music plays. Well, that's when he didn't. He you know he threw, he open, had an open challenge. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He yeah, said yeah. that he's going to be a fighting champion, which is funny blah, blah, blah. because either earlier in the day or the days he tweeted out something. Right? No, it was originally scheduled to be Jason Jordan answering Roman's challenge. So uh, we were going to get Jason Jordan versus Roman, but that just got tossed aside. Well. It- Kind of makes more sense the way they did it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's certainly better the mm-hmm. way they did it. I don't know if it wasn't meant to come out, you know? Yeah. But I, I thought you meant that because I know that a couple of people retweeted or tweeted to uh, respond to the challenge. Mm-hmm. Jordan and Balor both did, supposedly. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, but I, I um, um, it, it was probably just rumored, maybe. Yeah, well, no, know. I'm just saying. I think that they, they said that. He he made the tweet and then they said they would be interested, not actually accepting All right. the challenge. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Anyway, um, so the Miz Taraj comes out after mm-hmm. the Miz's music plays, um, and they say that they enlisted somebody to. Uh, yeah, they're hurt, so they can't. Yeah, obviously they can't with you know, uh, Axel having his mm-hmm. his neck brace on and everything. Um, so they enlisted somebody to to take extract a revenge on. That's uh, it on roman and that was elias who came out after that mm-hmm. um so yeah we're gonna get roman against elias later on tonight yes that's pretty much all that happened yeah and not really mm-hmm. much to it yeah um i don't remember if he really said anything yeah so roman goes to leave and then as he's leaving 
Rollins' music mm-hmm. hits, and then they they got each rid other. of the burn it down because it didn't come up. Oh yeah, I guess not. I don't know. I it kind of wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I was waiting for it because you know. <laughs> it's my favorite part. Well, I guess so. Um, <laughs> so uh, so they pass each other. Rollins goes down to the ring. Mm-hmm. He's by himself. Yep. Um, so he uh, they say, "Oh, Rollins is in action with Cesaro up next." Yeah. And they go to commercial, come back, and then they say uh, that Dean is on his honeymoon, and right. Sheamus is in Ireland for his weekly or his yearly week long sabbatical Some, yeah yeah something to like uh that. to ireland mm-hmm. um so cesaro will be by himself as well yeah. but uh yeah they gave this match a lot of time a long it was like 25 time. minutes yeah it was really long we, would he get to two commercial breaks i think so yeah it wasn't the only match that had that length either. but you have two quality competitors oh, well yeah it's so it's it's, it's it's hard to complain when they actually give a match yeah, like this time it, it's it's seth and cesaro without interaction mm, without interruption yeah yeah, yeah yeah absolutely so it, oh it was God, a great match Sorrow is so strong it's true <laughs> um it, it's just incredible the, the yeah, stuff he does at one point rollins was up on the top rope mm-hmm. and jumped for a crossbody yep. cesaro just catches him yep catches him no the problem the yep yep just yeah. fluid per- beautiful <laughs> there was a lot of great spots mm-hmm. in this match actually yep. um and then it? right yeah you said uh Rollins took a oh, poke yeah, yeah, to the yeah, yeah, eye yeah. afterward. Referee's back was turned or between. Yeah. Re- maybe Cesaro did it over the referee as he was. No, I, was, I think Cesaro was down. Maybe. Oh, okay. And then while getting up, sense. he poked yep. him, hit him with the, put him in the sharpshooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rollins gets to the rope. Yep. Um, and, and then, then there was a, like a weird seg- uh, sequence of them just like throwing each other back and forth. Mm-hmm. And then he rolls them through and hits him with the high knee. Rollins, of course. Still no name for that finisher. No, it's just the it's the knee. <laughs> it's what Michael Cole says. Yeah. And uh, uh, he uh, pins Cesaro clean. That was it. Well, that's really not sense. a big thing, you know. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. After the match, Seth is interviewed in our favorite segments of the interview after the, the match. The awkward segments that you, they either interview yeah. the loser or the winner to, based off of whatever makes more sense. Mm-hmm. So Charlie asks Seth well, if the seal, shield has gone in opposite directions since, you know, they weren't together tonight. That was basically. such a it dumb was, yeah, question. it was dumb. And then the crowd was booing and stuff like that. And so it's like, hell no. He just says, Roman, you know, he's got his own thing going on. He's got his own thing going on. And Dean's on his honeymoon. And then he has, like, some weird inside jokes that he Yeah, said something about, about uh, with Renee having something with a credit, credit card. card yeah. or, oh, I better not be under Renee's name with her credit card or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Yeah. It seemed like some, like you said, some inside jokes mm-hmm. that obviously people wouldn't know about. But um, basically the whole reason for this was that Seth said, Dean will be back next week. Sheamus will be back next week. So uh, they're invoking their rematch clause. Yes. So there will be a title match next week for the Raw Tag Team Champions. Yes. Which it's kind of standard now. Yeah. I was you got to expect say, some sort of interaction between the two teams. Yeah. And I guarantee it'll be the main event. Oh, yeah. There's really sense. no reason for it not to. No. Be. Absolutely. Um, uh, yeah. And we go backstage and. Uh, Yes, what was it? All the faces. Yes, it was Alexander, the good guys. Swan, uh, Mustafa Ali, and probably Tozawa. Yeah, they were all complaining about uh, Enzo and the Zo Train. And I was like, "The hell's a Zo Train?" <laughs> He's like, "You know, all of Enzo's lackeys." Yeah. He was like, "Well, you know how we do things on Raw. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a fatal four way tonight, and then a fatal four way next week, and the winner of both those matches will face off." And become and the winner will become a number one contender for Enzo's title. Yes, and they were happy about this. Yes, that was good enough for them. Yep, and then they all went on their merry little way. That's it, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So what happened next? We had Samoa Joe versus Titus O'Neil. Yeah, I haven't seen Titus in like a month. No, it hasn't been that long. It, it's been a while. No, no Joe, because Joe that... just beat up Apollo Cruz a couple weeks ago. No, well, no, no, maybe it, it was, was longer, longer than, than that. Because <laughs> what happened was they kind of stopped because they started. Was a... that before he fought Finn? Yeah. Oh, that was last week when he fought Finn. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. Two, two like two weeks before that, it was somebody else, I think. And then I, I'm almost positive it was. I it's know. been a while. I'll go with it. But, it just uh, doesn't feel like it. They they made Titus look like somewhat of a and a, like a threat. Threat. Yeah, oh, yeah. He he, almost, started, he had him on the ropes, yeah, man. Yeah, he was 
and pounded him, and then Joe got a cheap shot in. Yeah, he actually needed to mm-hmm. cheat to win, though. Yeah. That's weird. Why would they book him like that? Because they don't want to. Well, <laughs> but it doesn't matter how Titus looks. That's the no, 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 no. I know, part. but I mean, this is probably the best Titus has looked in a That's while. That's what I mean. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's it's the best he's looked since he kissed his well, son. <laughs> It's not wrong. It's a 100% accurate Well, it was statement. only downhill after that, after exactly. he grabbed Vince. Yeah. Not grabbed like, you know, you see in the news. But, you know, yeah. anyway. Wow. Um, so, yeah, Joe gets cheap shot in, then, uh, you know, puts on the coquina clutch. Titus taps out. And then Apollo Crews Comes just in. gets in the ring. Joe just looks at him and goes... Just hits him and then puts him in the coquina clutch. Yep. That, that was it. They made Apollo look terrible well, in that Well, segment. that's usually what they do. Yeah, but it was worse than usual. It was it was yeah. like Dana Brooke bit. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance. No. Um, all right. So, so up next, we had another uh, WWE shop <laughs> promo with the Good Brothers again. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, they're except they, the only problem is that this is all we're getting. They weren't, they're not on main event. But they're entertaining. Yeah, I, I realize that. but uh, I will take... An entertaining two minutes of them over ten minutes of, of Carl Anderson getting pinned. Yes. <laughs> I will take this well, over on like just a match where they don't do anything. I, I understand that, but on SmackDown they had the New Day do it, and the New Day had a match in the same night. And Raw was obviously trying to fill time, but there's no tag teams. For I was going to say who they're going to fight. <laughs> there's no feud for them to have. Put Carl Anderson out there against you know just Ron put Strowman Jason Jordan like against that. Matt Hardy. Have them both wrestle two matches that go. night. Why not? That's a great idea. No, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. All right. So what happened? Next? Literally the only option. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have Sasha Bailey and Mickey versus Team PMS. Yes. yes. Paige. Paige. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mandy yeah, yeah. and uh, Sonya Deville. Yes. No. No. You're wrong. wrong. Um. <laughs> so uh, Sasha comes out, mm. and then. I think it's Bailey's music hits. Is this when we found out the name of their group, or was that later? Yeah, it was, on? It was that. Oh, okay. Um, and then, um, but nothing happens. Mm-hmm. And then it switches to Mickey's music. Nothing Same happens. Thing. Yep. And then uh, Paige comes out with the other two. She is fantastic. Who Paige? Yes, she is so like everything looks natural. Her facial, you know, expressions are all on point. Mm-hmm. She's so good. Yeah. It's uh, just I'm so used to like the robotic female characters that wwe puts into their See, program that that's the thing throughout all of the time some people actually knew what they were doing yeah, I but know. unfortunately they were kind of stuck playing the you know the, the backseat role yeah because yeah. no one cares about the women's stuff and then like yeah, she, she came said, up in a bad time yeah yeah, yeah. That, there's a lot of people yeah, that that happens that's true to um alicia fox is one of them alicia fox um anyway so um, she comes out and she says, uh, oh, well, let's look to see what happened to your friends. Mm-hmm. And they showed both uh, Bailey and Mickey James, who, who yep. they, I guess, attacked yes. earlier on. Oh, yeah. Alexa was on commentary, too. Yes. Yeah. yeah she came out on mm-hmm. commentary. Um, so they're, uh, they, they, well, as they're saying this, mm-hmm. they pan to the commentating table and Alexa Bliss just gets up and just backs away. away. So it's um, like Kevin Owens or Homer Simpson into the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then the three of them walk down to the ring. They mm-hmm. sit around the ring. Um, at this point, Paige tells them that she started the women's mm-hmm. revolution and she made a new faction and they're called Absolution. This was good until they let the, well, Mandy was fine on the microphone. I was going to say Mandy was fine. Sonya uh, on the microphone, the well, audience decided to go, what? Yeah, I was going to say the, the audience kind of screwed mm-hmm. this one because it's not like what she said was bad. Mm-hmm. It's just she kind of got thrown off a little mm-hmm. bit by the what's, right. which is I, well, 100% unfair. Yeah, to somebody that's <laughs> probably the first time we've heard yeah. them on a microphone. Yeah, <laughs> at least in front of a live audience. Yeah. Um, and uh, so they come in and... They say, you should join us, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, Alicia. Uh, Sasha then attacks Paige, and then they, yep. she gets beat down yep. and eats, I think, all three of their finishers. Yeah. And, and uh, that's that was it. it. Yeah, they are known as the Absolution. Yes. Or, as I like to call them, the Page Taraj. That works, too, I guess. <laughs> well, it's not a bad name. Yeah, uh, it was a combination of me and Christine. Well, yeah, I, I figured that 
Oh yeah, yeah. She no, I didn't. I wasn't it. talking about the page to rise. Oh. I was talking about absolution. Oh, 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 it's not a band. No, no yeah, that one's they've come up with much worse. <laughs> you don't like the page to rise? No, it's really dumb. <laughs> Speaking of dumb, so Bray Wyatt <laughs> shows up and says, "I'm here." Yes, it was like the creepy dark room. That's fine. I mean, that that's just leave it at that. Oh, don't have him ha- go into the ring and then talk for ten minutes, which we got later, which nobody can understand what he means. Oh, man, I didn't have Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was weird. And then he kept on <laughs> saying, much, "You're." I think Meltzer and Alvarez were, were talking on the Wrestling Observer Radio, and, and uh, Meltzer was like, "No, he definitely had to have had a Thanksgiving." IRS at this point in time was like off the road, and he wasn't doing as many dates and stuff like that. I was like, "All right, guys." Got a little too uh, literal here. Well, th- you know, it, <laughs> that is. that kind of thing is kind of entertaining. Oh, it though. was definitely entertaining. Yeah, it because, was just funny. Because it's like taking something that's meant to be, I guess, literal and, you know, like or or kayfabe, yes. and it's yeah, yeah. like thinking, because mm-hmm. obviously you're not supposed to think or acknowledge the fact mm-hmm. that Bray Wyatt is the son of a, uh, a banker or whatever. This guy. Investment banker. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he comes out and spews nonsense yes. for what felt like hours. And when he got to the end, he just kept on saying, you're, you're dead, dead. you're laughing, dead, and you're all dead. You're all dead, yeah. yeah. And then at this point... Um, yeah, uh, speaking of dead, Matt Hardy comes out, yeah. dead inside. Um, this was pretty much a squash match. More or less, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they referenced he, a lot of, to uh, Matt Hardy's troubles. so troubles. bad moving around sometimes. Oh, Matt? Yeah. He's a little old. Yeah, no, I don't know. He's just, but I guess he's always kind of moved that way. Yeah, he's never it. moved particularly fluid. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but they're referencing the troubles that Matt's been going through lately with mm-hmm. his losses and all that stuff. Yep. Um, he gets hit with his sister Abigail, and then Bray leaves, and Matt's sitting in the corner, and then all of a sudden he starts having uh, a seizure. Yeah, I, I guess that that's a fair assessment. <laughs> yeah, he the does situation. the delete thing, and then he. Uh, which unfortunately, over and over again, the crowd really wasn't that receptive to it. Well, there was some, yeah, 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 but not like it's been. I, I think this was just a bad town to be in. I guess them. so. The crowd was not good. Yeah, not really. Mm-mm. It was better on SmackDown, but yeah, a little bit, yeah. But yeah, no, 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 no not good. So, uh, yeah, and I guess at this point, Michael was like, "Are we seeing the breakdown of Matt Hardy?" Yeah, yeah, they were being pretty blatant about it. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I guess guess we're gonna see it uh, apparently yeah. so the only question is is his first feud gonna be with bray it's fine it it would be it would be fine i'm sorry let me rephrase that if, uh-huh. if things were done correctly but okay. do we think it's gonna be done correctly on matt's part possibly because i like the way they did this i was talking about the wwe as a whole because they're really bad at doing stuff if if they give him some freedom uh-huh. to work with the character Maybe if they bring in Senior Benjamin and well, I think that's going King a Maxwell. little too far at first. I don't know. I've, I've heard rumors. Really, that yeah. they're actually going to do there's, something there's like that. Possibility. All right. And yeah. Jeff Hardy is out till Mania, so yeah, well, I guess they have time. Time, yeah. And as we could see tonight, we have plenty when, uh, of time. Yes. yes, I guess that's true. It, you know what? Next week's not next week's Raw, but like a, a forthcoming Raw mm-hmm. that doesn't have Lesnar on it. I can see them taking an hour an hour yeah why not i mean i'm fine with it no i'm just saying i honestly based off of this show yeah if things don't change mm-hmm. you cut back on the cruiserweight segment because this one was a really long cruiserweight yeah, segment 14 minutes but but it was longer than that <laughs> with the commercial yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah um and then you don't have as long of a seamus and cesaro versus seth mm-hmm. rollins and dean ambrose segment yeah and the main event isn't a 20 minute long or half hour craft long fest. craft fest yes <laughs> and you can lit- you can easily give them an hour of tv time mm-hmm. for literally no reason and no one will notice i'm not saying they Look, would as long saying, as it entertains yeah my little mind that's, that's, all, that's that all that matters just, as yeah. long as i can turn off that switch and sit there and watch my wrestling yep that's all that matters all right let's move on all right so uh, we got a backstage segment where uh, Kurt Angle and Jason Jordan are backstage. Yep. Uh, they're like, oh, well, we haven't heard from Braun Strowman since last week. Mm-hmm. And Jason Jordan's like, oh, man, that stinks. I wanted to, I wanted to challenge him for a rematch. Yeah. And Kurt Angle was like, aren't you still hurt? He's like, no, I'm 100%. I'm fine. 
I definitely would have been I would have been all right to face him. She's like, oh no, you know what? I'm gonna face I'm gonna face the guy who took him out. I'm gonna face Kane tonight. Oh yeah, and then they went on about people being mean to him on social media, saying that he was faking his injury. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jason Jordan's ridiculous. It's it's bad. He went, I, um, he as went, long as they set him up for the heel turn. He went from a somewhat relatable face to like kind of a whiny face, mm-hmm. and I don't like it. I liked him at first. I don't like him anymore. <laughs> this would have been the perfect time for Gallus and Anderson to come in and go, Nerds! <laughs> um anyway yeah so that brings us to our fatal four-way cruiserweight match yes with, uh tozawa versus swan versus tavari versus dog this is actually a really good match all right so there was like 10 times in this match where i thought it was going to end and yeah it just didn't end yeah it was uh it was a nail biter although when the match started i was like swan's gonna win yeah, yeah i didn't have and then there was points of time where there was a chance that dar could have won mm-hmm. which was weird because i don't think he's ever won a match <laughs> Not um, many. Yeah, there was a couple of points in time where Davari kind of looked like he had mm-hmm. it. Um, obviously, I, Alexander. Although I don't think he did a whole lot. I mean, Tozawa. Oh, Tozawa. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, yeah. Tozawa. Yeah, he did. A, he had. A, he had some offense. See, now that I remember who's actually in the match, I remember that Tozawa did actually do quite a yeah, lot of stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say he had. He I hit, thought he had the momentum. He hit, he hit the. He hit the the senton off the top rope, mm-hmm. and then. Yeah, thrown um, outside the ring. No, right? Davari pulled um, no, Dar out of the ring. Okay, when that's he what was, was going right, for the pin. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's when Swan got up, right? Uh huh. Which led us to him hitting. I don't even remember what he. Oh, the Phoenix Splash. Yeah, he Dar. hit Dar on yeah. with the Phoenix Splash. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, uh, Swan won. He will be facing the winner of next week's Fatal Four Way match mm-hmm. for the number one contendership. Um, that match is going to be. Alexander, Ali, Ali, nice, nice, and, and Gulak. So, but that one should be more entertaining. I know than who this I one. want to win. Drew Gulak. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you, you would assume it would be face versus heel. Yes, but, but it's probably going to be it, Nice. It should be Alexander because him and Swan will put on the best. Oh, it match. should be because that match will be yes. fantastic. But we know how cruiserweight segments on Raw go. Yes, because it has to be face heel, mm-hmm. and it has to be short. Yep. And it has to be as bad as possible quick enough so the crowd can't start a boring chant yes which they were very bored throughout this match yeah but they didn't actually chant no because because i was i expected it to i, I forget who it was it, it might have been when uh Tozawa hit the scent on i was like oh that's it yeah and then all of a sudden it kept going on and each person kept going i was like yeah. wow this actually turned into a pretty good match yeah and then i was like all right <laughs> this is very it. entertaining mm-hmm. um so uh yeah so that brought us to our well, I would say the real main event of yeah, the show. Yeah, I was going to say, this definitely was the, this was the, the highlight of the 10 show. 10 o'clock hour. Yeah. It, even though it seems like that's what they do. I think they gave the segment almost half hour. It was long. Yeah. It was good. So it, it was, was a good match. Elias versus Roman. Mm-hmm. And before the match, Elias comes out and he sings a song, mm-hmm. gets through his entire song. Then he brings Axel and Dallas into the ring. Well, in all fairness, they were in the ring the whole time. Were they? They were in the corners. Oh, it was just black. Yeah. You couldn't see them. Okay. Yeah, they just walked up. <laughs> so, uh, so the Miz Taraj is going to join him on harmonica. Yeah, it was, it was pretty impressive. It wasn't really them playing, but. Why not? You don't know that. <laughs> I know that. How do you know? I'm positive. Okay. You think it was actually them playing? It, lo- it They sold it really well. <sighs> it could have been. All right, you sure. Don't know. Uh, I know, but it's fine. All right. You can. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it was it was fantastic. It was good. And then uh, Elias st- sung another song after that. Uh-huh. And then I think he just said, you know, uh, oh, because that's when the crowd started chanting, "We want Roman." And yeah. And he said, "Nobody no, you don't. wants Roman. I want Roman." And then that's when the yeah. match actually started. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, I-, I guess maybe this is all they needed to do for Roman. Just what? put him against a mid card heel, Wait. and that's how you get him over. <laughs> um. Well. Until he, he got cheered last week. Right. There's a chance that this bad crowd could have just not known. Well, in the beginning, there was a You, a you Deserve It chant as well. Yes. That but was there during, was, yeah. of course, the No You Don't yes. to counter it. But the the pro-Roman chants were much louder yes, than the... But they're probably mostly women. Mm, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It is. But... Um, but there was a lot of pro Roman stuff going mm-hmm. on here, but like I said, it was a very good match, uh, very for Roman. For what well, you know, 
Roman needs like really good opponents. No, that's Elias, what, I mean, is, he needs good opponents. Elias generally. isn't a good opponent. No, but the only bad thing about this match is the headlocks. There was like too many of five them. minutes of well, you headlocks. got two big beefy guys. No, I thing. know there's not too much they could do, and yeah. Elias is still new. Yeah. You still don't. He, this match probably was what fifteen. It was long, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, um, and um, but it, but this was definitely a good showing for Elias. It's true, this shows that he's able to you know go in the ring and mm. not look bad. Yeah, it's true, and he he. he he felt like he belonged. Yeah, yeah. He hit a beautiful knee to the face of Roman. Yeah, um, he hit that spinning power sit bomb. out power bomb. Yep. That was cool. And uh, the beautiful elbow drop. That was nice. Yeah, that was yeah. Macho Man. Macho elbow. Man. He even looked like him. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, because sometimes people weird really oh land really weird. Well, with the yeah, elbow because drops. they're because they're try so hard to be safe mm-hmm. that it looks weird. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. Elias is like, nope, screw it, I'm going for <laughs> well, it. Well, in all fairness. Roman does have the chest protector, <laughs> he so does. he doesn't really the, need the protection. The plus five. Yeah. So, um, yeah. anyway, but obviously Ro- Roman goes over with the spear. Yeah, he hit the the um, Superman punch. Elias kicks out, sets him up for the spear. Elias, I think, kicked him. Yeah. Roman but, went off the other rope, hit him with the spear. Yeah. That was all. It's true. And then the Miztourage did get involved. A couple times. Oh in yeah, the match. they they kind of stuck the their beginning. hands in a yeah. little bit, but Roman All right. mostly silent. So, him. I think the Miztraj should get rid of the suits, dress up as roadies, go along with him. They're close enough to begin with, it, and they're gonna true. hang with him. You bring the Miz back. Miz gets a huge reaction. It'll be a face reaction, uh-huh. but then you know, have him and Elias have a little thing, and then the Miz do his normal stuff and insult the crowd and turn back heel again. Okay. So I think that's... Are you suggesting that... Have like a battle. Be like, these are my people. You can't take my cronies from yeah, me. That probably will happen. That's fine. I, I think that's what should happen. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Yeah. And and then took up a lot of time on he Raw. He did. It's, it's, it's tough shoes to fill. Yeah, it's true. Who would have thought this? I know. <laughs> it's especially not two years ago no. when the draft first happened. Not at all. <sighs> anyway. Yes. So... Um, after Roman wins, he's walking up the ramp, and then he turns around, I guess, to celebrate. Mm-hmm. And at this point, he gets put into the coquina clutch by uh, Mr. Samoa Joe. Yeah. Um, he's I'm like, guess, I'm coming for you. Yeah, I guess he's going to be the next uh, challenger. Which is fine. Or are they going to build it a feud? Well, no, it's probably going to be a feud. But what's going to happen is that they're going to have a match probably next week. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Joe's going to get disqualified. And then... Um, then that's going to elongate the feud. Mm-hmm. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, like I've said in the past, I think some of Roman's best matches on Raw have been against Samoa Joe. Mm-hmm. I think the two work well together, and they have not had a feud. So No, they have not have a, had a You have time. Feud. Go for it. Yep. <clears throat> it could even lead to the this, Rumble. This, yeah, definitely easily a number one feud on the show. Mm-hmm. Even if they're fighting over technically a mid-card title. Yeah. But. But although the Miz has made... The Intercontinental title, the top He's court, made it relevant. Top, top title on Raw anyway. All right. Yes. So <laughs> we've got Asuka versus Dana Brooke. Again. Part two. Um, so apparently Dana Brooke was back on the WWE Network watching yeah. the best of Asuka or whatever it was. No, they, she watched their match from last week. Oh, is that what it was? Yes, okay. She so over and over again. Turns out that Asuka's a slow starter. So what she's going to do is attack quick. Yes. So match starts. Dana Brooke goes to attack her, flips her into the arm bar or the Oscar lock, yep. and that's the match. It was a nice transition. This is the way you book Oscar. Yes, because it's it's taking the the bottom feeder mm. and just making her look terrible. Yes. And, and you need that. You need somebody that's yeah. gonna be on the bottom. Also, mm. what they what happened after that. I was afraid, and I was very happy afterward. With what the way yes. they actually the, went about it. They, I don't think they could have done this segment better. No. So what happens is Asuka wins. She's celebrating. Paige's music hits. She comes, th- or the three of them come down. They surround the ring. Um, I think they climb up on the ropes? Or I, don't, they... I don't think they... Okay. I think they just put their hands on the rope like yeah. they were going to. Yeah. So Asuka's looking around, ready to fight. And then they all start to slowly back up. And then they eventually leave. Yep. Just stare off. And yep. that was it. They they couldn't have done that better. Mm-hmm. That was exactly how you should have. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. The, huh? Okay. So they just stand there, do nothing. Yeah. Asuka leaves the oh, ring. Oh, that's and right. She yeah. leaves. Yeah, she okay. leaves. Yep. yep. That's right. 
Yeah, she just kind of backs up and makes sure nobody she's not getting attacked from behind and yep. then leaves. Yep. It was, All right. It was good. Take us through this wonderful main event we got. Okay. So <laughs> Jason Jordan comes out with a speaking piece, which obviously is his strength. Um, so he says that <laughs> I can't he's sense your sarcasm, yeah. Matt. He's um he he's he's uh, feeling better. He's one hundred percent. And he doesn't appreciate the the fan reaction. I think this is when he was talking about maybe the people, maybe this yeah, was people saying something about that he was faking it on social media. That's what you wrote in the notes. So. Yeah. So um, and it makes it makes sense that people would think that he's faking to get out of a match with Braun Strowman and Kane, bro, because he wants to look t- tougher than he is. Yep. Um. So after he's done, uh, I guess running his mouth, Kane comes out. And the match starts. Maya Kane. Yeah. <laughs> so almost well, not yet, very, but. very quickly, uh, Jason Jordan gets thrown out of the ring and, and he hurts his knee the, yep. again. Didn't he? And then he got back in, right? And they got thrown back no, no, in. No, 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 no. Oh, that was after. Yeah. Okay. So okay. what happened was he he couldn't he couldn't get back in with the count of ten. Mm-hmm. And he finally gets in after the bell rings. So it's the match is over. And then Kane just beats the crap out of him. And then he gets thrown out of the ring again. And it's like who can stop Kane? <laughs> and then Finn Balor's music hits. He comes down, and then they go to commercial. They come back. Now there's a ref in the ring again. Kurt Angle made the match during the commercial break. You're a liar, Michael Cole. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I um, want the footage to see Kurt Angle come out yeah. there. But <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> it, it actually kind of looked like Finn had control over Kane. A little bit, yep. And then uh, grab the chair. Yeah, Kane grabs the chair from the timekeeper's area yep, and starts beating the crap out of Finn with it. This mm-hmm. went on for a little while. Too long. Yes. Um, but in all fairness, this segment started way too early because mm-hmm. the show ended. Yeah, like, this was like ten forty. Yeah, it was ten forty five when it latest. started. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the the show actually ended at like eleven oh five. Yeah, it was, which is really short, early for yeah. them um because it's gone as it's late like as like 11 20 yeah yeah i was gonna so, say something around that time um so anyway kane's beating the crap out of mm-hmm. him with the chair he goes to do oh he no. goes no he goes to he sets up the chair around balor's neck mm-hmm. and he goes on the top rope to i guess do a jumping punch i guess i kind of tuned out at this uh, i'm assuming place. that's what he was going to do and then Braun's music hits mm-hmm. Braun comes down yep they start fighting. I think he got a decent reaction, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone loves Braun. Um, and then he does to Kane what... He um, just beats people up. How can yeah. you not love that? That's true. He does to Kane what... Uh, Kane did to him last week. Yes. Which twice. Is, yeah. Well, he brought the stairs in the ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That, I'm just saying it oh, inevitably yeah. led up, mm. up to him doing that in the middle of the ring on the stairs yes. with the chair. And uh, and then Kane runs away through the crowd, mm-hmm. and Braun kind of just watches him yep. leave. We just listen our closing moments or kane coughing and choking in the audience yeah it was uh not a good way to end the show no this should have ended with um samoa joe choking out Ro- uh, roman. roman yeah that would have been sense. a much more fitting end but to the show. again they were in tennessee yeah i guess kane they, is running for mayor so yeah, so i guess that part makes sense but he is the big face there even yeah. though you know he's supposed to be the bad guy yeah well Braun's a face now it's weird yeah but for what it was, it wasn't a bad show no, at all. No, it wasn't bad. The fact that it was obvious that they that were filling time made it seem worse than it was. Mm-hmm. Um, but otherwise, a relatively entertaining show, so I can't really complain. Yeah, no, I, I like the fact that they're building lower level storylines. Yeah, it's, I, I'd, it's needed. You need to be able to do this. I, I'd much rather have this than just really crappy storylines. This big ass roster, at least utilize exactly. it. Exactly. Otherwise, you're just wasting everybody's time. Yep. So, so yeah, that was our raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.